Hello ladies and gentlemen, I will be upgrading and setting up my brother's computer so that he can play Microsoft Flight Simulator and get any other tasks done. So here's a bit of background. My brother wanted to play Microsoft Flight Simulator and obviously that's not, that's a pretty demanding game. It's not going to run on anything. So I wanted to get him a good computer that can run it. I want him to, you know, have a great experience and be able to play at at least 30 frames per second with high resolution. Now, you can't build a computer right now because graphics cards are really expensive, but you can buy one. Now, buying pre-builds is obviously not very easy because a lot of them are pretty unreliable. So I had settled on the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop TG01. 0023W. Now, this computer is pretty capable. It has the Ryzen 5 3500, which has six cores, no extra threads, which is unusual because AMD usually does add extra threads. It has eight gigabytes of DDR4 266 megahertz memory, which we will be upgrading um, to 24 gigabytes. We'll be adding a 16 gigabyte stick. Now, for graphics, this has the GTX 1650, I think, I'm not sure if it's super or just a regular. Either way, that is a good card. And it can run Flight Simulator. Now, for storage, it has a 256 gigabyte NVMe drive, which is like mounted to the motherboard, so it's way faster. Now, in the future, we will be upgrading this drive because 256 gigabytes is not enough and will run out very quickly. So we will add a one terabyte hard drive in the future just for programs. The actual operating system is gonna be on the 256 gigabyte drive so that Windows boots up really fast. Now, here's some other parts of this computer. So obviously since it's a pre-built, it has a proprietary motherboard and power supply. Um, this computer here has power, so here's the power button. And there is a three millimeter jack, audio jack. There are four USB type A 2.0 ports. There's a media card reader and a USB type C port right here. Now on the back, there are two USB type A 3.0 ports and two USB A 2.0 ports. Um, there, the graphics card has DisplayPort, DVI and HDMI. Uh, power supply, well, it's the power supply. Um, next is, it has one, so as like a table of contents. First, we'll be booting it up to see if it boots into Windows. Next is we will be actually upgrading the memory. And then finally, I will be showing gameplay. And, and then I'll have a final little final conclusion part where I'll be showing some benchmarks. Hello, all right, now we are going to be adding extra memory to the HP Pavilion desktop now. This has eight gigabytes, which is not enough for the system. So we're gonna add it. So first step is to take off the side panel and touch it so that you don't get static. Now, 
take out this cage. You're gonna have to take out the front bezel. And there's gonna be a, huh, there isn't a screw. Oh, all right, there's a screw right there. So what you're gonna have to do is take off that screw. This is not big enough. So we can have to unscrew that. So thankfully, fell off. All right, now, next is to take off the screws from this black part of the cage. Now, this is attached. All right, why can't you just reach down? I, I prefer to do it this way. I think it slides off. Hold on. Oh, it actually slides off. All right. We took out this black part. And. This one. And this should. Hold on. Hmm. Pull it straight up. Cage out. Now what we're gonna do is add this memory. So we're gonna put it in the dim. Does it matter which one? Yeah. No, like which slot? Is it? No. I mean, if you have four of them, yeah, it, it will matter. But there's only two on this machine. All right, we have successfully gotten the dim in. Now, this we cut because I had thought that I was doing something wrong, but it turns out you did need to apply a lot of pressure to put it in. So now we're gonna have to put this machine back together. back on yeah looks like it's gonna be a tough fit Now, I'm going to put this front bezel back on. This will be a little challenging. Did you put it upright? Hmm? Put it upright. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now. Now. I'm going to put... These pre-builds are like so hard to put back together. Like they want you to want it to be tough. All right, now this machine has gone Mr. Castle Ram upgrade. All right, we're gonna check. All right, now we're gonna check if the Ram registers in the actual computer. So it looks like nothing bad's happened. Okay. So it turns out it works. It's registering as 24 gigabytes. So it's been successful.
All right, today is my brother's actual birthday. Computer is fully set up, and now we are gonna load into Flight Simulator. I wanna change the plane. Which one? Let's go. I'm bad. No, I'm just kidding. No, you, you should pick pass. All right, that, that's a good, is that the, that's the Cessna, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Epstein Island. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you doing it? Bro, I'm telling you, you gotta do it. Okay. You'll uncover Where the is secret. It, Where is it? I know. Here, let's go to Orlando. Fine. I'm telling you, you should go to Epstein Island. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> this takes five hours to load. I'm probably gonna be like an old grandpa by the time this loads. Okay. Well, this does have the NVMe drive, so it's a load fast. Like you even know what that is. They said the loads are wrong. This is not wrong. Well, I mean you. The these guys are probably using a different kind of storage device. This is they're well I mean, I don't know which one they're using. Most likely something not as fast as NVMe or something like SATA, which is slower. Yeah, for I know, yeah. Flight Simulator is Microsoft's longest running one. Oh wow, look at it. You're mm -hmm. actually freeing it. And I don't know, don't use keyboard, you have a yoke. How do you um... How do you what you're supposed to know what to do? It's your thing. Okay. What? You're supposed to know what to do, Mr. Flight Guy. Okay, parking. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like the computer is clearly getting louder. Um, I'm sure it'll be able to handle this. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure what's getting louder is CPU because this doesn't have nearly as good as CPU as GPU. GPU is way better in this system. Come on, start flying. Oh, chill. Start flying, dude. Um. Oh, now you're doing easy control. What? Easy. What? Uh, oh, keyboard. Can I see what's making this loud? Of course it's a fan. And don't worry, opening a computer when it's running is not bad. If you mess with it when it's running, it's bad. But if you just open it, nothing, it's not like it's gonna blow up. All right, I just decided to take a quick look inside. Turns out it is the graphics card which is becoming really loud i thought it was the um control, processor wait where's control number delete control delete no um, number delete i don't know num delete i think just just do the delete key um Select input. I'm gonna go. all right so so it turns out the graphics card is the one that's being loud it's handling it real well um i'm sure cpu usage is high but it's still handling it Why aren't you flying? I can't. Can you like, no, no, come on, do something, fly. Come on, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. I get, I like, I thought you were the, like, the aviation. I thought you were like the aviation expert. Look at you now. You have so much theoretical knowledge, but no practical. Okay, stop recording, please. All right, this is the conclusion now.
the RAM upgrade obviously you've seen was successful and now here are a few moments I'll clarify. Now first I would like to apologize for filming quality. It did get pretty low at some times and next is I apologize about me having a hard time pushing in the RAM and pushing in the hard drive cage. Um, took me a while to figure out that I just needed to push harder for the RAM stick, that's what she said. And <laughs> um, so the rookie mistake. Um, next is in the next video of me upgrading the storage drive, I will be doing it way smoother. So you won't have to worry about me being an idiot. Now, so here's some stuff that happened post like filming. So firstly, there we had to do a perform a BIOS update. The reason why we had to do that was because he tried so he tried to run the game and it said that there was a hardware issue, so I'm assuming it was driver issues. So we just went to Windows and updated. And turns out that update included a firmware update, not just drivers. Uh so it was a pretty big surprise that include BIOS update and you know how risky those things are. If there's a power outage, whole thing's useless. So thankfully the weather was nice, so there was a very low chance of power outages. Uh, next thing that happened was this genius decided to leave his computer running at night, and it gave a and it gave a BIOS error saying like boot device not found, and all we did was turn it off and turn it back on, and that fixed it. I honestly have no clue what happened, but thankfully it's fixed. Now here's some benchmarks. So clearly here games are actually at ultra settings. I had thought that they would work best at medium or low. It turns out they go just fine at ultra. Now, frames per second is like, average is 20, but with medium settings, average frames per second is actually like 60 or 40. But obviously on ultra settings, it's much lower, but it looks so beautiful. So this was a overall great experience. I'm glad my brother is enjoying playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. Aren't you enjoying it? Yeah. All right, yeah, he look, he's so enthusiastic. So he's having a really fun time and I am glad I was I was able I was the one who gave him that amazing time and I hope he enjoys this for the time being or he's probably going to lose interest but let's not think negatively Now the video for now for storage update upgrade I don't know exactly when that's going to happen um storage has already plummeted down to 17 gigabytes of free space i checked literally this morning i have no clue how much is left bet it's going to be like 10. um so we're going to be adding the one terabyte hard drive uh i don't know when but it can be from a couple days to maybe just a couple more days it'll be sometime shortly and that is all so this whole operation so far was successful and Unfortunately, it's not over yet, but it will be great.